Good day, dear friends, and welcome to the next chapter of Aquarius Rising, Christianity and Judaism Explained Using the Science of the Stars. Aquarius Rising is a book over 4,000 years in the making. The rights of others are both recognized and supported. Others are free to follow their own cultural and religious path. This work does not advocate forcing anyone to do or follow anything. It is not an attack on any individual or institution. Religion is in the public domain, though. It must necessarily expect an examination of its customs, rituals, holy days, and doctrines. If you are new here, these individual chapters explain stories and festivals of the New and Old Testament from the astro-theology perspective. If you are unfamiliar with this, I suggest you either read Aquarius Rising, Introduction through Chapter 7, or watch the associated videos to develop a foundational understanding before proceeding with the stories and festival chapters. I hope this work will aid you in your spiritual journey. Aquarius Rising, Chapter 23, Satan Explained via Astrotheology The goat is often associated with the devil, why is this? The Bible depicts the devil as the archenemy of humanity. We read this in Zechariah 3 1 and Revelation 2, 10 among others. Webster's Dictionary defines the term devil in the following ways. 1. The personal supreme spirit of evil often represented in Christian belief as the tempter of humankind, the leader of all apostate angels, and the ruler of hell. 2. An evil spirit, demon. An extremely wicked person, a fiend. In Leviticus 17, 7 the word devil is the translation of the Hebrew ser, meaning a goat or satyr, Isaiah 13, 21 and 34 colon 14, alluding to the wood demons, the objects of idolatrous worship among the heathen. The crucifixion of Jesus, the Son, takes place in the zodiacal sign of Capricorn, December 22nd to January 19th. Recall now the image where Capricorn is located among the twelve astrological signs. Capricorn is the very bottom of the zodiacal chart. It is in the place of interment, the graveyard, the depository of the dead. The message is that Capricorn is where Jesus, the Son, is destined to be crucified at the winter solstice. Recall that earlier we learned that the Sun stops its southern descent for three days. It appears dead before reversing course and moving one degree per day north, thereby signaling the sun's equinoctial resurgence and rebirth. Capricorn comes from Latin Capricornus, literally horned like a goat. It is from caper, genitive capri, goat, see cab, plus cornu horn, from pi root cur meaning horn, head. Now examine the 1856 depiction of the Sabbatic goat, from Dogme et Ritual de la Haute Magi. Notice the goat feet, head, and horns. Capricorn is in the southern hemisphere and just starting to climb. If anyone has observed goats, you will note their skill and seeming enjoyment at climbing. The more complex the climb, the more the goats enjoy it. The use of the human body is a signal that the goat represents the persona of Satan and not that Satan is an actual goat. Capricorn signifies goat and the goat is the symbol of the devil as it is the lowest constellation of the zodiac situated at the extreme lower end of the zodiac. The left hand at the image points down to mark the beginning of the climb. In the west, reading is performed left to right, thus marking the directions. The right hand point up in the direction of the movement. The star is an obvious indication to look at the stars for your clue to interpret this message. When viewed in the light of astrotheology symbolism, Satan does not represent evil but rather opposition. Evil is a concept not recognized by nature. The information in this video was taken from Aquarius Rising, Christianity and Judaism Explained Using the Science of the Stars by Rico Rojo. Aquarius Rising pulls data from over 4,000 years and numerous books and manuscripts and presents it in an easily digestible form for the modern reader. Aquarius Rising is available on your local Amazon in both print and Kindle. If you found this information useful, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel.